Isidro Perez the third. He's a good friend of mine from Cal State Fullerton. I I don't think I've ever thought about anything else as much as I've thought about acting. Veered off here and there between wanting to be like a stuntman or you know different things like that. But for the most part, uh, film was always part of the equation in some way, shape, or form. It was always part of the equation. He actually is the one who gave me this idea for this film. He gave it to me like three, four years ago and I just never acted on it. And I was looking through my giant archive of unfinished scripts one day and saw it there and decided that this was the right time to do it. Just really trying to take the bull by the horns and doing as much as possible. I love working with you, Zach, because you have like that same mentality where it's like, I don't give a fuck, let's get this thing done as yeah. soon as possible. We didn't care. It was just getting it done. We were having fun. You know, we were getting kicked out of there left and right. <laughs> we didn't give a fuck. We left for an hour. We chilled. We came back later on that day and we got it done. And and that's what I love about it. I feel like that's what it's all about. That was like my favorite part. We were just like looking around the corner to see if security's coming. And we're like, all right, get the camera out. Let's go. Oh, we yeah. had mosquitoes biting us and shit, <laughs> but we kept going. We make up fight scenes ourselves. Like, you know, it's it's everything about it is just so gritty but our whole hearts are into it so i i remember when i when i dropped the idea i was just like he's he's a perfect person to do i that, that's one thing about us is that we just love making films and we we could have been there till the next day just doing that same thing over and over and over again i admire him because he's just like me he has a ruthless work ethic he's super competitive you know, you see the vision in his eyes, like you see it and he's going to get there no matter what and no one's going to stop him. And that's the type of person, the type of artist that I want to surround myself with because that type of energy breeds inevitable success. Having these experiences on set when when you're just grinding and you're just pushing, like, I, I feel like it makes you tougher as, a, as an actor, honestly, because I mean, you know, I've, I've been on different sets where like, the, the budget's higher, but, you know, a, a bunch of actors are more or less complaining about, like, oh, it's too cold outside. And I'm like, bro, we, we, like, we've been cold, we've been hot, we've been being bitten by mosquitoes. Like, you know, it's, it's fine. I think as long as you just enjoy the ride and you just love what you do every second that you're doing it, I mean, you wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You, you, you feel blessed. And that's how I felt every time that I was on this set and any time I'm on, I'm on any other set. It's just a blessing, 100%.